wanted to I wanted to marry her because I wanted her to be the moon because I don't want there to be a night that I don't see her. I wanted her to uh, I wanted her to be the sun to be a reminder that the dark season of my life was over. I wanted her to be a uh, I wanted her to be a rainbow just a Greetings! Welcome to Burning of Apps. I'm your host, Vale Chikuni. Yes, we have a letter story for you. Jamal Brand is officially off the market. I repeat, Pastor Jamal Brand is off the market. He's engaged you, finally. <laughs> so, I'm going to share with you how everything uh, transpired, how he introduced his fiance. Okay, Jamal Bryant has put a ring on it. But we are going to go back to see what she said, the type of man that she'll settle with, and if Jamal fits uh, that description that she gave us. Not only that, we're going to go to Jamal's, his own words. So his own words have come to hunt Pastor Jamal Bryant. So stay tuned. Without further ado, I present to you Pastor Jamal Bryant. The only thing we was missing was the first lady. And... Uh, I have, uh, I've been, uh, are y'all gonna let me talk? Yeah, yeah I've been, uh, I've, I've been divorced for 11 years. I've been divorced for 11 years, and uh, I didn't know whether I would ever get married again. I promise you I didn't. And uh, sometimes your blessing will be right in front of your eyes, and you, you don't even know. You don't even know what God's got for you. Uh, amazing, amazing, uh, amazingly beautiful woman, amazingly brilliant woman. Uh, last year, she uh, graduated with her uh, doctorate degree, and uh, I, I, I saw her walk across that stage and get her doctorate degree. And the Lord said, "You big dummy, what are you waiting on?" Uh, and. Uh, I am so grateful, I am so grateful to God uh, that she has consented to be my wife. Would you help me? Thank God for uh, Dr. Karen Turner. Come on. I can't tell you, I can't tell you how happy I am, how happy my family is, how happy my children are, uh, and uh, I hope my church is happy for me. I, uh, I wanted you to, uh, I want you to know from me. I want you to know from me. I want you to know from me uh, why it is uh, why it is that I wanted to marry this woman uh, is uh, not just because she's beautiful, but because she's brilliant, uh, because she is anointed, and uh, she makes me a better man. And I'm grateful. Yeah, I, uh, I wanted to. I wanted to marry her because I wanted her to be the moon because I don't want there to be a night that I don't see her. I wanted her to uh, I wanted her to be the sun to be a reminder that the dark season of my life was over. I wanted her to be a uh, I wanted her to be a rainbow just to be a reminder that God's promise is still good for my life. And I wanted her to be the rain to let me know that the harvest is coming. So uh, for five years, you've just had a pastor. Uh, but going forward for the rest of my days, you're going to have a first lady. Uh, and I am uh, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Uh, let me say to you, New Birth, we are a family. Uh, we are a family. And it was uh, my intention to share with you uh, this morning. My family already knows. My children already know. Uh, but uh, there are people who feel like they have the privilege uh, to take advantage of your privacy. Uh, and I still, as a public pastor, have the right to a private life. Uh, and so I want you to know that uh, New Birth, I honor you, I respect you, we are in it together. Uh, as a consequence, that's why I didn't post anything, I didn't share anything. I wanted you to get it from me uh, and not get it from somebody else. Love, when it is real, is not a scandal. Uh, 
So when people are looking for a reason to be upset with love, it's because they don't love themselves. Uh, but I want you to know I love this woman with everything that's in me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love this woman with everything that's in me, and I want to be able to have ice cream in peace. So thank you all so very much uh, for praying for us uh, and standing with us uh, with all that is happening on today. With all that is happening on today. There you have it, guys. Uh, that's Pastor Jamal Bryant. If love is real, it's not a scandal. So we're going to put Jamal's words to the test and we're also going to put Karis Turner's their own words to the test. Okay? So there shouldn't be any misunderstanding. <laughs> Woo! All right. So what transpired? It's not a long time ago, but as you know, you can't hide, right? So singer tweet uh who is uh my absolute favorite female singer in the world better be and uh, i took a i pulled the auric move and asked for a picture <laughs> <laughs> and uh we have uh, grown into an incredible uh friendship i call her my last lady uh, so oh, wow. Listen, ladies, is there anything that your mates have said that embarrassed you? Other uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I want to ask Tweet this question. It really won't take us long because she won't really have an answer. What's the hardest thing about dating Jamal Bryant? This oh, is not wow. my question. Uh -oh. It's from the producers. Uh, but I told him you didn't have an answer. That yeah, We could just skip that one. Um, I guess it's dealing with the women that send messages saying that God said that they were your girlfriend. Wow. Oh. And oh. then... Oh. Too. Yeah, don't, don't, and then dealing with this. church people that say because I'm an R&B singer that I'm not godly enough yeah. to be with him. Yeah. So, but I have a relationship with God. And That's I'm right. Yeah. He referred to her as his last lady. This is Jamal Bryant saying uh, Shalene was his last, uh, the last lady, right? But now, <laughs> how come we're seeing somebody else? And Jamal Bryant says that uh, he's been divorced for 11 years. So I have this question for you. Everything you know about Jamal Bryant, are you telling me that Jamal Bryant stayed celibate for 11 years? Right now, he's still going to be celibate until he consummates his marriage? Everything you know about Jamal Bryant. Mm? <laughs> I just leave that one to you. You can figure that out. All right. So we also need to hear what um, Dr. Kerry Turner said herself, okay, in terms of relationships, what she looks for. So let's see if what she looks for matches with uh, Jamal Bryant, okay? And we think that this is the best that we can get. I now ask myself, is this God's absolute best for me? Mm. That's a challenging question. That's a, yeah. Listen, with all you. that I've been through, with all that I've seen, God, is this your absolute best for me? And if I can't answer that with a yes, I'm out. So today, if you out dating and yes. you now are looking at the values of someone, what are some of the most important values? Integrity, now? integrity, 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 integrity. Listen, a liar. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. A person who has no character. I've met people who I believe are literally morally bankrupt. Like, you don't care what you do to people. You look great. You are, you are very articulate. You are brilliant. You might even be anointed. You excel in what your field is. You know what I'm saying? Can you be anointed with no character? What? Wow. Chachis. Yeah, I could run them down. Wow. <laughs> I could run about 10 days. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's possible to move in a level of gifting and talent. The Bible says gifts come without repentance. And so people see people operating, whether that's business, I'm not just talking about ministry, that can be whatever your call is. You can be amazing um, entrepreneur. You can be an incredible actress or whatever your area is. But when you get home, how do you handle the people that are closest to you? Are you a liar? Are you a deceiver? Are you a manipulator? So for me, I promise you, outside of whether a person has a genuine, authentic relationship with God, I'm not talking about whether or not you go to church, because you can go to church and not even know him. But do you have so a true. real relationship with God that shows up in how you not just treat me, but how you treat everybody that comes in contact with you? So I can, I can confidently say that character and integrity are the primary things right now for me. I cannot deal with a person who does not have those things. I love so, does Jamal Bryant have those things? Hmm? He's been a pastor for uh, New Beth for five years. 
He's been divorced three times. There are stories of baby mamas all over the place, allegedly, and some baby children all over the place, allegedly. So, hey, man, has he changed? Does he, does he have integrity? Does he have good character? Because these are the qualifications of somebody who has to be an elder. Is, J is Jamal Bryan qualified? First of all, he's disqualified because he's a false teacher. But Kerry Turner has, uh, I mean, it's actually a very good list. Whatever she says over there, I agree with her 100%. So my question is, according to her own standards, if we put those things to the test with Jamal Bryant, does she pass the test with her own standards? And does Jamal Bryant pass Dr. Kerry Turner's test? of what she is looking for for a man. At this point, she, she has accepted the ring. She's engaged to Pastor Jamal Bryant, and she's going to be the future first lady of a uh, new birth. So you guys, you tell me. You tell me what you guys think. All right, but let's also see what she is all about as well. Karitana has said. All right, so this is IG page for uh, Keritana. Here she is, Dr. Keritana. I stand corrected. The future first lady of no birth. So this is her. This is her profile, okay? And obviously, I one thing, today the dress she wore is fine. I don't like this dressing for somebody who professes to be a Christian. This is, no, 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 this is not it, okay? You need to be dre uh, dressed appropriately. Women, you have to dress appropriately, you know? Yeah, you know, this is beautiful. This is nice. Uh, she's very beautiful, that's for sure. She's a very, very beautiful lady, okay? She's a beautiful lady. Here she is, very beautiful, nice, okay? <laughs> Ooh. And by the way, she's also a co-pastor. She's a pastor of biology at no birth. Don't ask me what that means. All right, let's see. Okay, so this is uh, Jamal Bryant. I'm grateful to God that today the Lord has given uh, Miss Kari Baby to be my wife. And at no birth, NBC has a first lady. My heart is overjoyed and my destiny is in clear focus. Love always wins. Giselle Bryant, this is Jamal's Bryant ex-wife. Congratulations, very happy for you. And this is uh, the future Mrs. Bryant. My love, I love you so much. So hopefully you can stay faithful to this one. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. Yes, I love you both and I'm excited to welcome my new sister. Blessing on your new union. All right. So I guess this is um, Jamal Bryant's sister. So that's them there. People just are uh, congratulating them on their on their new uh, on their new union. I guess they're not yet married, but they're engaged. Okay, so now I guess it's just countdown, countdown to to the day that they what they will get married. All right, all right. So that is uh, Jamal Bryant's uh, Jamal Bryant, future wife. She's beautiful. I think I'm at this point. I'm glad that okay, at least Jamal Bryant is married. Okay, we'll take that. We'll accept that. It's better for him to be married than to be single. Uh, that's a very long time for a pastor to be single for eleven years. He was a senior pastor at no birth, according to him, for five years. No, I don't think so. Like, you are keeping the appearance of evil, staying that long, unmarried, and then there are all these rumors that are running around. And what other thing that he says, like, okay, he's entitled to a private life. Well, yes, you're entitled to a private life, but also you are, a, you are an elder of a church. So as much as people are going to give you that private, quote-unquote private life, Whatever you're doing, if it's not in keeping to the scriptures and the stuff is public, you know, that's what it, it comes with the territory. A public figure, you are public image, those are the things that you have to deal with, okay? It, it, just, it just comes with the territory. So, yes, if he was out there having ice cream, people are looking at him like, hey, man, you know, you are Jamal Bryan. You're famous. People are looking at you like, well, for all we know, we, we know that you're a single man. What are you out here? Having some ice cream with a woman, not your wife. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, it's it's a legitimate question for people to ask. But all in all, Jamo is uh, he's engaged. Congratulations to them. Okay, to the future, Mr. and Mrs. Bryant. So hopefully, their union will be for life.
for life, for life. So all the past is gone. We're going to see what this is going to bring. You cannot, you know, it's understandable for people to be skeptical because this is Jim O'Brien. He's done this before. Okay, this is not his first rodeo. So according to him, a true love, there's no scandal. All right, we're going to be here. We're going to wait and see. But, oh, you know, good for you guys. You, you are engaged, okay? We celebrate that. When people are married, we celebrate that. We would rather have Jamal Bryant as a husband as opposed to having Jamal Bryant as a single pastor and having stories all over the place. So I guess this is good. Let him be settled with uh, Dr. Karitana, another pastor. She shouldn't be a pastor, but it is what it is. Okay, so to be quite honest, uh, she's a very beautiful lady, as I say. This is a very beautiful dress that she wore. She knew she was going to be on the stage to be introduced to the entire church. I don't like this part right here. Okay, I can see it. If I can see it, people over there, they can also see it. This is not appropriate for somebody, for, for a first lady, let alone a church. All she could have done, she could have put a safety pin right here. It couldn't have ruined her outfit. She could have put on... Um, a, a lime green tank top, it wouldn't have ruined her, her outfit. Or a white tank top inside. So this part over here, we don't have to see her. We don't have to see over here. Because if you can see it, I can also see it. So this, I say, ah, uh, no, first lady. Okay, so let's uh, take care of that wardrobe. Let's take care of that wardrobe, okay? It's not so bad as I've seen other women. But this, no. I don't think a woman should wear a dress that's showing her cleavage like this to church. It's not appropriate, period. There's no need for people to be seeing things that your husband is supposed to be seeing and then you're letting the public to see. No, it's not appropriate. It's a very beautiful dress. All she could have done is just put a safety pin over there. I'm not hating on her, but I'm just stating the facts. Okay, so, but all in all, we are happy for them that they are engaged. But what say you? Hmm? What say you about Jamal Bryant? Okay, but hey, congratulations are in order for the future Mr. and Mrs. Jamal Bryant. All right, guys, that is all that I had for you guys today. I hope you find this entertaining. Let me know what you guys think about it, okay? Be sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, X and Facebook. Until next time, remember to be in the know. Thank you.